everyone and welcome back to the Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. My name is Gem and you can see here I have an up crate in front of me and it's looking rather snazzy. They've obviously had a bit of a facelift and I'm loving this little keyhole detail here. This used to be a sticker. So up crate is a monthly art subscription box and it comes all the way from Germany. They've been on the go for just over a year now so it looks to me like they're starting to up their game a little bit which I'm quite excited excited about. This is the 14th box it says here on the label. So I'm really interested to find out what has changed inside if anything at all. So they've gone for the same idea as Scholar Box. So we've got this pull tab now. Right let's get into this. So today we are just unboxing so we'll take quite a good look at the supplies and the I'm assuming the challenge will still be the same. It's the upgrade battle. Um, we will tackle that in about a week's time so you can keep your eyes peeled for that. It's time for art. Love it. Okay. Oh, now this is interesting. Oh, I see something exciting. Okay, so let's have a little look at what we've got inside. So this is new. New month, new me, same dream, fresh start. Battle post. Okay, so they've gone for a, a sort of zine idea here, similar to what Scrawler Box have and also what Artful does as well, but obviously it's a bit more of a, a slimline volume. We have some stickers here and they're all on one sheet now, so that's um, really good. It says here, space for your sticker, send us your design to design it up, create art. Oh, I could send in Hector the camel. Okay, so we've got some stickers. That's fabulous. I like the fact that they're all in one sheet now. This has caught my eye because this is the featured artist by the looks of things. So here we have, and this looks remarkably like fine liners, which uh, I love this kind of design. It's super, super cool. So it's Ros Art or R.OS underscore art. Hello fellow artists, my name is Renz, also known as Rose Art on Instagram, and there's a selection of their work there and it is just adorable. I really, really like this. So I will definitely be heading to Instagram to find out a little bit more about this featured artist. Okay, so we'll look at this after because I've got a funny feeling it might spoil the surprise of the supplies. But what's caught my eye here is we have a proper sketchbook here. It is a long-term sketchbook, A5 landscape, 150 GSM, so not the heaviest of papers, but again, we would expect that from uh, a sketchbook. So I'm just going to pop this open. I have had a little one of these before. I can't remember. I think it was a scrawler box, and it was just like a little paper, paperback version. So this is like full fat sketchbook. Now I love hardback sketchbooks. I love rounded corner sketchbooks so I may keep a hold of this and I may use it at some point. Uh, me being a tactile person the first thing I like to do is have a little bit of a feel and this feels lovely. It's got a little elastic closure here so if you're a person that kind of sticks things in or tends to give your sketchbooks a battering that will hold it all together. Oh this is nice. So what have we got here? Uh, tells you about all the different types of uh, sketchbooks that are available, different sizes, that kind of thing. So yeah, just a little bit of information. And we have here another sheet of paper. Thank you very much. Okay, we didn't actually purchase it directly, but still, you're welcome. And there's a little bit here to write in your name or any information that you would like. And the paper is white. It does have a wee bit of texture, not m much though, so that might lend itself. It kind of reminds me of the paper in the the ELO sketchbooks, just not quite as smooth, so that actually might just be right up my street. So we've got some labels here as well if you want to do some organising as well, which again I really like. So yeah, I actually quite like the format as well, I like this sort of lengthwise uh, format and it does have a ducat or a pocket in the back so that you can store any bits and pieces especially if you're a person that travels about a lot so I, uh, I, I'm I, I'm really pleased with this this is an excellent item to have in a subscription box especially if it's something that you might actually use which isn't always the case for me I'm quite fussy right let's see what we've got in here so I've got a funny feeling this is going to be fine liners and inks and most of you will be aware that I am not a huge fan of inks, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that I won't try and I won't have fun doing it. All right. Ooh, let me pop this off to the side. 
So what have we got here? Oh, we've got a... <laughs> okay, this I wasn't expecting. Uh, it says, an interesting that everything's in German. I'm pretty sure we all own one of these from our school days. It's got lots of knobbly bits in it though, which is uh, interesting as well. Rumold or Rumold. And obviously normally used for geometry at school. So we can make some really nice straight edges. Now again, judging by the artwork here, we might be doing some perspective drawings and some geometric style artwork, which uh, is not my strong point, but I have had a little bit of fun doing something like that before. Let's see what else we've got. We've got a Factus eraser. That feels amazing. Oh, that is so squishy. Oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm in love with this. I want to just touch it. Okay, I'm really hoping it is really soft, like there's stuff coming off it already. So it is going to be quite a messy eraser. But I really hope that this is a good eraser because it feels like it might be and I'm, I don't want to be disappointed now. <laughs> We've got a Viking HB Artist Graphite Pencil. It's a pencil. I say that nearly every time we get a box. I haven't used a lot of Viking stuff, so I'll be interested to try that out. It feels pretty organic. It's got this nice sort of wood finish on it. Doesn't feel particularly heavy or light, so I don't have any comment there, because again, I, I kind of have a thing. I don't like cheap pencils. Doesn't feel cheap, though. Doesn't feel cheap. We have an art line drawing system. Um, fine liner. I have one of these already somewhere. I might have given it to Mr. Jim. So I have a 0 0.2 and this is a 0 0.05. So this is my kind of size of fine liner. This, I think I might actually be able to get excited about this fine liner. So let's have a wee look at it. Oh yes, look, it's so tiny. So yes, 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 Jem says yes. This I'll be using mostly this one. I can tell you that right now when it comes to the challenge. Okay, we also have some uh, Rotring or Rotring. Again, this is a very familiar brand to me. My dad used to use these years and years ago for technical drawing. And these are Tiki Graphic Pigmented Inks. So they are also fine liners. We have a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.3. Now, is that 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 is the tip? With, oh, okay, okay. okay, so these are good as well. These are good. I like fine liners on the finer end of things. A 0 0.3 is probably a little bit chunky monkey for my liking, but this one definitely. Now, in terms of my arting journey, I have never used any of the supplies from this brand. So I'm quite excited to try these out because it's not often that I get a new brand to play with that I haven't seen before. Okay, so the idea is here we are going to do some sketching and some drawing. Let's take a look at our battle post then. From Hamburg to the world. Aye aye art crew. And again, everything is in German and in English. So if you want to brush up on your German, that's great. Oh, I would have loved to have got a yellow one. Oh, that would have been so amazing. But okay, never mind. I hope you're all safe and sound. Uh, two pieces of exciting news await you this month. Our box is more stable and beautiful than ever to make sure your art supplies arrive safely and in style. The second change should be in your hands as we speak. Da da. As of now, I will update you on all update related information each month. I warmly invite you to take part in this process as I wish to put the spotlight on, on you above all. Take a look around and learn how you can get involved. Captain Crate. Okie dokie. So it gives us a little snapshot here of the supplies that we've been given. And it's going to start talking about them, which is nice. Okay, so the, the Loich term sketchbook talks about a range of sketchbooks and they've remained unchanged until now. The new sketchbooks, okay, so this is a new, dun dun dun, a new line that they've brought out. Paper quality has been improved and the paper is most suitable for use with pencil, felt tip, pen, marker, charcoal, ink, pastel and chalk. Okay, so pretty much everything. Its elongated horizontal format creates a panoramic orientation, making it ideal for sketching urban landscapes and city drawing. Again, not something that I do. Not really a fan of drawing architecture, if I'm honest, but it's something I have had a bash at before. And you can draw across two pages um, or vertically to make very tall buildings. Now, just on that note, this is quite interesting because one of the things I loved about the ELO sketchbook was the fact that the pages laid flat and it didn't really matter where you were in the sketchbook. So just on that note, you can see there just by turning to a random page, that is that is about as flat as you're gonna get in a sketchbook. Oh, and we've got, oh, I love this as well. I love it when you get uh, like ribbon markers in these as well. So let's try in another place. Let's try here. 
Yep, so it's got that nice lay flat binding as well. And this is so valuable in a sketchbook, especially if you start an idea somewhere. Um, again, this will probably apply more to right-handed people because I would tend to start over here being left-handed. But you basically, if you start scribbling and you're halfway through an idea, you can just keep going. So I, I really, really, really like that about sketchbooks. That's something I'm really into. And I think, again, what is probably why it reminds me a little bit of the Elo sketchbooks. I think these would be worth a shout. I'm just, I'm actually, like, my brain's going already. I'm getting quite excited because the sketchbook I have just now, it's okay, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't excite me. You know, I don't I don't have this overwhelming urge to draw in it all the time. Whereas I think if I had a yellow square one of these, I, I would be very much tempted to do that. So I'm really excited to test out this paper now. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the Rotring Pens. Fibre tip pens with non-fading water-resistant pigmented black ink and a metal jacketed fibre tip nib for precise fine sketching and accurate drawing on straight edges. Free ink technology is a perfect example of Rotring's in innovative force. These writing instruments have clear advantages. The ink feed module gives a free yet controlled flow of ink from the reservoir onto the paper, eliminating the need for a conventional ink storage plug. That doesn't really mean anything to me, but I'll take it as a good thing. Uh, it makes it possible to use 100% of the ink contents. Okay, so it's to stop wastage with consistent line quality down to the very last drop. The ink level window shows the amount of ink left in the reservoir at the time. So I'm assuming that that is this clear part here. I don't know how well you can see that in the light. Obviously it's full, but then there's this part down here as well. It tells you a little bit about the company as well. I say I, I'm familiar with them because my dad used to use them for technical drawing. Okay, so let's talk about the set square. As I say, we've, we've probably all owned one of these at some point in our lives. A high quality set square made of transparent plastic with facet and coloured counter-rotating degree scales and inking nubs. Oh! Uh, length of the hypotenuse is 160 millimetres. Puncture point for compasses at zero. Student friendly readability of the degree measures mathematical sense of rotation, continuous millimeter division for drawing parallels, packed in envi environmentally friendly paper bag. <laughs> okay, cool. The Rollo Artist Drawing Pencils, this is the Viking Pencils, made in Denmark. It's made of Californian cedar wood, 18 centimeters long, diameter of 6.9, and the hardness is indicated with a colored dip. That just looks black to me. Okay. Matte transparent with black debossing. Okay, so they've given us quite a bit of information for an HB pencil. That's quite impressive. Okay. Eraser for fine arts. Yay. The fact is soft rub. Uh, mine doesn't say soft rub on it. It just says for artists, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Synthetic rubber breadcrumb eraser has a large capacity for absorption of greasy graphite compositions. Charcoal of graduation is too being higher. Easily erases without the need to press down on the surface of the paper, forming soft shavings. Can also be used to erase or blur charcoal pencil strokes. Oh, good. Right, the art line um, pens. Acid-free water-based pigment. Pigment. Water resistant and fade proof when dry. The metal ferrule is ideal for template and ruling work, making this range perfect for all general writing, drawing and technical drawing. The airtight cap includes a durable metal pocket clip. 0.05 liner has a line width, unsurprisingly, of 0.05 millimetres for finest detail works. Okay, so we've got a co-captain and this is the featured artist. So this is their drawing here. So there is a little bit about them and tips as well about this particular style of drawing, which I think is just absolutely absolutely lovely. So it's always nice to get to know the people behind these drawings and it sometimes gives me some inspiration to go and do other things. And there's a little video as well of him doing his thing so you can go and see that as well and get some ideas on what to do with these supplies. So we have the Upcrate Battle which was the uh, drawing the vegetables and this is uh, very similar again to the, the page in the scroller box with the gallery but these are the ones that have one because they do like a little giveaway i like the artichoke one that's probably one of my favorites actually monthly news about the upgrade art crew introducing you to new artists and letting you know about all the latest art challenges so it's telling you about the art channels with the, the art channels the art challenges with the hashtag so we've got the upgrade battle the 20k challenge mm, a special competition when we hit 20,000 followers on instagram 
unboxing. Right, this is the one I've got a bit of an issue with. Um, if you share your unboxing with a post, story or video on any social media to spread the upgrade feeling to the world and let the art crew grow, every month one of you have the chance to win some special art supplies. I object to this on places like Instagram because there's lots of people that maybe don't get their box around the same time and you're essentially like ruining it for them. Um, so that's not something that I would be partaking in, but I can understand people would want to do it. Upcrate giveaway. Each month we provide a different giveaway for you on Instagram. So brands that are inside the crates do a special giveaway. So if it's something that you're, you know, if you're looking for supplies, you can definitely um, go and join in with that one as well. We have a seller of the month. So this is a, a new artist that they are going to give you some information on as well. So this is Sonka. Sonka, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Jeffrey on tour is my McDonald's Hello Kitty plush bunny alter ego. My name is actually Sonka and I grew up on the island of Norderney in the North Sea. So there's some of their artwork as well. And also you can catch them on Instagram. So this is a really nice feature as well, just to sort of expand out this art community that we all try and foster. So I, I really, really like this. This is cool. Okay, and then there's some news as well. So there's a little bit on Inktober and something new called the Golden Crate. Have you ever dreamt of discovering a treasure chest? With the latest update of our upcrate, you've got a random chance at discovering a golden crate. Make sure to send us a photo of the inside of your box and you'll receive a unique prize of art supplies for finding the real treasure. Of course, the lucky finder and everyone else also receives our monthly treats within the purple box. That's really cool. That is such a good idea. I like it very, very much. Okay, and there's a little quiz on the back to make sure you've read the whole thing. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, on the back page here, this is our upgrade battle card, so you have to cut it out and put it in with your photograph and the battle topic is sensational structure so that goes along with the theme and everything ties in quite nicely so we want to be creating a fantastical building of some description i have to say that is definitely going to be a challenge for me there is no doubt about that um so yeah that's really good so let's get stuck into this and try out some supplies this has made me really happy i've pretty much unboxed from the start and I just feel that there, there is a plethora of choice of boxes for those of you out there who are in the US. And we do have access to those boxes both in the UK and Europe. But sometimes the shipping makes those boxes out of our reach on a regular basis, which is a shame. So I'm always quite keen to campaign for, you know, people that are a little bit closer to home to me, which is in Scotland and the UK. And I am delighted that Upcrate have really pushed hard and up their game when I think back to the first box we got compared to this now they've just made huge strides and they're doing a lot to really keep moving forward and you know really be on the ball all the time so I am absolutely delighted with this box and I just think it's wonderful that they've come along and you know they've picked up everybody and people are really sort of joining in so now that we've got all the appreciation out of the way, uh, what I want to do in this sketchbook is have a, a test page at the back for materials. It's something I do in all my sketchbooks and I usually try and make it the back page. So we're just going to make this the test page. Oh, this is so nice. See, I've had these before. And I actually really like them, hence the reason I held on to the other one. But it is a little bit thicker than I would use for a fine liner. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be a little bit more my thing. Oh yeah. Look how fine these lines are. This makes me really happy. That That is a hatching pen if ever I have seen one. Obviously, with a nib of this size, they can be quite delicate and I find it with Pigma Microns as well. You don't need to be pressing really hard because there is a chance that you will shove the nib back into the pen, which is what you don't want. So don't be tempted to press down really hard on these. The line width is very consistent. The ink flow is good as well. And if we were to do, you know, if we wanted to actually block in a section, not that you would with a fine liner this size, but the ink consistency and the flow is really good. So you're not going to have any problems getting that to do what you want it to do. 
So yeah, I really, I really like these pens, and I'd, I'm very pleased to say that this will be would be one that I would use on a regular basis. Right, I'm really keen to test out these Rotring pens now as well because I haven't had a go of these. So let's try the zero three, which is the 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 big chunky one. Well, when I say big chunky, come yeah, look at that, Rawr. chunk chunk chunky. And these feel really nice. The ink is feathering out a little bit, but it's almost negligible. Uh, that's as far as I can zoom in with my camera. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, there is very slight feathering, but it's not much. Again, what I tend to find is it's more down to the paper a lot of the time, but you may have to be careful with this. If you're looking for a really crisp drawing on this particular paper, you're probably not going to get it with this pen. But again, be great for filling in darker areas. So let's try the 0 0.1 now. The pen feels nice in my hand as well. Oh yes, the 0 0.1 is much better. Okay, yes, I like this too. Again, very consistent. Little bit of bleed, not much, so you have to be quite light-handed and really move your nib away as quick as you can when you get to the end of your stroke or whatever it is you're doing and that'll stop that very slight bleed or feather from becoming a problem for you. Okay, let's have a wee look at our pencil now as well. And again, an HB pencil, I'm pretty sure I'll know how this is going to behave and it is going down really smoothly on this paper. This pencil goes very well with this paper. If That's one thing. I may not be familiar with the supplies or the subject matter for the Upgrade Battles, but I know my pencils. And that combination of pencil and paper is perfect. That is just, yes, that is exactly what we want. I can get quite a nice degree of shading as well for an HB, which is, you know, that slap bang in the middle of the scale. So that's really, really good. And of course, I'm most excited to try out. <laughs> now it says not to press hard. Oh my. Okay, I just, like, I literally just tickled that. Like, it was touching the paper and no more. Let's try down this way. Ooh. That is a really nice eraser. Kind of like this. Let's see if I can take away a whole section. Again, HB, not renowned for being the easiest to lift off the paper. That's pretty good. It's not taking it away completely, but that that's doing a really good job. So if you were doing like, you know, if you were going about your business just doing your sketch lines, if you were trying to draw something out and you're like, oh, I don't want that shape, that's going to be really good for taking stuff like that away without any hassle at all. And obviously because you're pressing lightly with your eraser, you're not going to damage the tooth of the paper in any way. So when you go back to work over it again, even if you're going into another medium, then that is going to be super, super helpful. I think I'm in love. <laughs> See, now this is, this is one of these things and a lot of you are going to be like rolling your eyes. I am pleased by the simplest of supplies. I am happiest with a high quality sketchbook and a pencil. That, that just makes my day. And even if I've got a great eraser, that is even better. I am absolutely over the moon with this box. I think it's a wonderful box. And I am actually quite looking forward to trying this upgrade battle, even though it's very much out of my depth. It just goes to show you that simple is sometimes good and it's really nice to be excited about this and, and excited for the upgrade battle video as well. So there we go. I am absolutely happy as a pig in the proverbial poop. So let's just have a quick recap. Unfortunately, I didn't get a golden box, but uh, this is just amazing. So we've got a long term sketchbook with um, 112 pages. So we've got a 112 page sketchbook. We have our set square and our HB pencil, this delightfully squishy eraser. And we have three fine liners, one in a 0.05 millimeter and we have a 0.10.3. In addition to that, we've got the stickers. We've got the stickers that came in the sketchbook. We have our very streamlined Upcrate stickers. And I have just noticed as well, this is the featured artist, but the Upcrate logo is in there, the little guy with the eye patch. That is so clever. I love that. Absolutely love it. We have our featured artist who uh, I think is a very talented individual. And we also have our battle post that incorporates our 
battle topic and also the little card you cut out and stick on beside your image when you upload it to social media. I would love to hear your thoughts on this box. I think it's going to be a lot of mixed opinions, so let me know. I would be very curious to hear what you think. And I just want to thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for watching. Look after each other, stay safe, and I will see you back in the cave on Sunday for another video. So have a good day, everyone, and bye for now.